BMW MSV90 ECU repairs secrets mechanics won't tell you. Fix it like a pro at home. Hey, they're fellow car enthusiasts, tech heads, and DIY warriors. Let me ask you something. Have you ever come across a dreaded DME internal error or BSD communication fault on your BMW's MSV90 ECU and had absolutely no idea what to do next? Or maybe you've heard the term MSV90 tossed around in a repair forum and thought, that sounds like trouble I want no part of. Well, don't scroll away just yet because in the next few minutes, you're going to learn everything you need to know to repair a BMW MSV90 DME ECU. From identifying common fault codes to actually performing hardware level repairs like resoldering chips and replacing blown ICs. Yes, you heard that right. We're diving deep into BMW's infamous MSV90 ECU, especially the one powering the popular N52 engine. But before we go deeper into the oily, silicon-laced heart of this repair, I need a small favor. If you're passionate about automotive electronics or just love saving thousands on dealership repairs, then please hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and smash that like button. Let's set a goal right now. 10,000 likes, and 1,000 comments in the next 24 hours. Think we can do it? I do. And with your help, we'll get there. And oh, before I forget, here's your challenge question. What common fault code on the MSV90 DME is caused by cold solder joints on the CPU? If you know it, don't keep that knowledge to yourself. Drop it in the comments right now. Disclaimer, please listen carefully. This content is strictly for educational and informational purposes. Whether you're a professional, a curious learner, or an at-home technician, this guide is made to help you understand BMW diagnostics and repairs. All content adheres to fair use and is intended to share knowledge, not to replicate or misuse intellectual property. We use images and references only for teaching purposes. Please always follow local laws and manufacturer guidelines when working on vehicles. This is not a replacement for official technical documentation or certified training. All right, let's get under the hood, literally, and talk about how to repair a BMW MSV90 DME ECU, especially the one used with the BMW N52 engine. Step 1. Diagnosing the DME internal error. Fall code 133902. First off, if you're staring at the terrifying 133902 fall code, you're not alone. This one's a classic DME internal error. But here's the truth. They're often not as fatal as they sound. Most of the time, this isn't a full-on chip failure. It's caused by cold solder joints. Yes, poor soldering work right on the CPU itself. The fix? Simply and carefully resoldering the main chip on the MSV90 board can clear this fault entirely. Sometimes, these internal errors also pop up due to software corruption or programming errors. In such cases, a syntax error appears, and your best course of action is either reprogramming the ECU and synchronizing it with the CAS module, or resoldering key communication paths. Wondering which tools can help with this? Take your pick from top-tier options like Obstar DC706, CGFC200, Yenhua ACDP, or the incredibly versatile Zorce Multiprog. Now, if you've dealt with this fault code before, how did you fix it? Share your experience in the comments below. Step 2. BSD Communication Failure Fault Code 2E7C slash CD9304 If your BMW's been misfiring, stalling, or just acting weird, there's a chance you're dealing with a BSD failure error. This is your bit serial data interface misbehaving, a critical line of communication between engine components and the DME. To repair this, here's what you need to do. Carefully drill a hole on the MSV90 board, right in the spot where the TJ1020IC chip is located. Once you locate it, remove and replace the TJ1020 chip. That tiny component plays a giant role in restoring full BSD function and clearing the dreaded 2E7C slash CD9304 codes. This fix requires a steady hand, the right tools, and patience. But once done, you'll restore the brain-to-body connection in your engine control system. Step 3. Barometric Pressure Sensor Signal Fault Fault Code P2227 
Got a P2227 fault code staring back at you? That's your DME telling you it's not getting accurate barometric pressure readings. The likely culprit? A connection fault at SMD288 pin, marked red on the board. Just a simple re-soldering job on that pin, and you're back in business. Simple, right? Sometimes it's the smallest things that cause the biggest headaches. Step 4. Throttle Fault Throttle Problems? You're probably dealing with a damaged ATIC 61D3 control IC. The steps here are, check the transistor near the throttle control area for any signs of burn damage. If the transistor is fried, replace it. Then resolder or replace the ATIC 61D3 IC. This fix will bring smooth throttle operation back into your BMW, especially useful if you've been dealing with rough idling or stalling on acceleration. Step 5. Terminal 15, KL.15, fault code. 1B5102. The 1B5102 fault is a sneaky one. This indicates a KL.15, terminal 15, issue, meaning the DME isn't getting ignition voltage despite the main relay being active. You might suspect a battery issue or even a glitch in the car access system, CAS. But often, the real issue lies on the MSV90 board itself. The solution? Resolder the integrated fuel injector slash fan chip ATIC 94D. Again, it's clearly marked in red on the board schematics. Once that's done, power flows correctly, the ignition signal registers, and your engine wakes up like it should. If you're still watching, let me just say thank you. Your support means the world to me. This kind of deep dive content takes time and effort, but I do it to help you become more skilled, independent, and confident with your automotive repairs. I also want to share my own quick thought. The MSV90 isn't a hopeless brick when it starts throwing codes. It's actually reparable with the right approach and mindset. We're living in an age where tools are becoming more affordable and knowledge is just a video away. You don't need to replace the entire ECU. You can fix it. Now let me ask you, which repair from today's video do you think is the most intimidating? The drilling for BSD chip replacement or the precision soldering on the CPU? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let's help each other grow. And if you've made it this far, please share this video with anyone in your circle who works on BMWs, runs a garage, or just loves saving money on repairs. Knowledge is power, and sharing this might save someone thousands. Before we close out, remember the question from earlier? What common MSV90 fall code is caused by cold solder joints on the CPU? If you said 133902 DME internal error, then give yourself a pat on the back. You nailed it. Once again, a huge thank you to all my loyal subscribers and daily viewers. Your encouragement, comments, and super thanks support keep this channel thriving. If you're new here and learned something today, don't forget to subscribe. We've got loads more deep dive diagnostic tutorials coming up. Smash that like button if this helped you. And let's hit our goal of 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments in 24 hours. Until next time, stay sharp, keep learning, and happy diagnosing.